Nick here, Revit Test Customs. Today we're going to have a look at another one of our moulds that we're going to form on our VacuForm machine. Um, this one is a LS Twin Turbo. Once again, 3D printed mould. Um, just a very light um, clean up. Just wet and dry sandpaper to smooth that up a little bit. There's no mould release or anything on this. Um, as you can see on our last engine mould, we had the same sort of holes in the same sort of position just to help suck it down. This one's got a little bit higher centre than the other motors, which may make it a little bit more difficult to release, but this is quite a key feature on an LS motor, so we've sort of wanted to make sure that it sort of stood out. So let's get some plastic in this and heat it up. Just about up to temp now, ready for it to kick in. We'll handle down. out. It should hopefully remove pretty easily, hopefully. Which has popped out nice and easy. You see it's come up pretty nice. Um, you still do see a little bit of 3D printing marks from it, but they actually do smooth out over time. Obviously it gets to a point where you'll start losing your detailing around your filters, etc. But end of the day it's only costing you a couple of dollars to make a mould opposed to getting it you know machined out of alloy or whatever you it's going to cost you a lot more so these are actually available in our store if you guys have actually got a drift car and you want, want to pick one up um, links in the description so until the next video have a good one